Pulse 9 one to Woodstock Company number 5, duty crew. Respond for an adult female knee injury secondary to a fall at Tinker Toys number 5, Mill Hill Road. We're repeating to Woodstock Company number 5, duty crew. Respond for a... Alright guys, and welcome back to Project Hospital. This is going to be attempt number 2 million and 5 is what it feels like. We are on patch number 37, basically a beta of an update that's coming. Um, basically, from what I recall, it's basically just updating a few of the issues that came about because of the <laughs> supposed last patch update. Um, so yeah, I do have all the DLC that I am aware of installed. Um, but what we're going to do is a little bit different than what I have been doing. Um, we are actually going to go in and do these tutorials. And basically, from there, go and do the challenges. The campaign one is what I was doing, and I'll probably end up doing that on my own time. But... It, it just kind of dawned on me that I never really got into any of the tutorials. I just kind of dived right into the game. Because I felt confident with it. Um, can't say too many other people may have been, but... I just figured, since I do play this quite often, even in my free time, that I would do that for you guys. Uh, so, let's get to it. Assuming it lets me. All right, we are in this starting off in this little tiny clinic. <laughs> uh, we got a note here. Hi, boss. Thank you for coming back to help us. We know that you had your reasons for retirement, but we can really use someone with your talents. We know you were good at diagnosing patients. Well, thank you. I didn't realize I was that great, but sweet. We are having some staffing issues at the clinic. Could you help us out with a few patients? Oh, don't worry. I'll remind you how everything works here. Well, thanks. I might need a refresher. First, let's have a closer look to see what's going on. You can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel and pan by holding down the middle mouse button. Basically, just by doing that. You can also notice that the wall, all the walls are up, obscuring the view. Change the view to your liking. Using down here in the bottom panel. Uh, you can completely do away with the walls, or what I like is just hide the walls that obscure the view. And we have a patient here who's been patiently waiting for us in the doctor's office. No pun intended there, I assume. This is the patient's card. Uh, looks like it is a Jennifer Cole. Uh, can't quite tell. Uh, let's see here. It will give you all the important information and you can control what happens with your patients from here. On the right side, you'll find the history of the last eight selected characters, or in this case, two. Jennifer Cole and our lovely doctor, Brooke Moore. If you click on the portrait of any character, the camera will center on them. Basically, so that way, if you have a notification pop up, you pull this up, you can select it, and it goes right to where that character is. You can choose who's, who is responsible for your patient. Either you let your staff take care of, the, of them, or you can take over directly. Let's keep the patient under your control. Well, thank you. The upper part of the card shows you the patient's personal data and department assignment. The needs panel on the right shows the satisfaction level, and you can see characters' perks and quirks below that, which is grayed out, and it's not going to let me quote, highlight anything, or basically give me any little notes as far as what they actually mean mean just yet. The next panel shows all possible diagnoses that match patients' known symptoms, ordered from the most likely one to the, the least likely, obviously. Uh, selecting a diagnosis will set it as the final one, and you can misdiagnose. The symptoms panel shows all revealed and hidden symptoms. Basically, hidden symptoms are just like you see here, where it says two hidden symptoms. Big surprise there. And you have to figure out what the symptoms are. I'm sure it'll tell us here shortly by doing the examinations. 
On the left, you can see the doctor that the patient is assigned to as well. And down here is the examination panel where you can order the examinations to reveal what the hidden symptoms are. In this case, they, as I bite my tongue, they want us to select the skin allergy test because it looks like nasal congestion, sneezing, and fatigue. It's a little hard to read for me with it grayed out, I apologize. Oh, and I don't have my buttons to speed up time a little bit. So while they're doing that, I do want to say that I have been doing a little bit of research and trying to get my settings with my recording software better. So not only is the audio quality there, and I have a little bit more control over it, but the video aspect of it is clearer. So this would be my first video where I've made some major adjustments to the recording or the audio aspect of it and not just talking about the levels uh, audio levels procedures have finished scheduled procedures have finished which the last was skin allergy test the patient is waiting for you to plan another examination or select a diagnosis which up here you can see which finished the examinations revealed the symptom the ones that did are highlighted in green. Now go ahead and select the one diagnosis that's left, which in this case is hay fever, with a 100% possible di <coughs> diagnosis. Excuse me. Now nothing stops us from treating the patient. You can hope. Did this last time? I almost wanted to say Hoover. Uh, you can hover. <laughs> Yay, English language, lovely. Um. You can hover over the icon of your selected diagnosis to see a tooltip which will suggest the correct treatment. Go ahead and choose that treatment. So in this case, it's antihistamines, but because of the other symptoms that she has, we're going to go with rest and nasal drops. Now, considering it's looking like she still has one hidden symptom, I would probably try to do a physical examination or a nasal cavity uh, inspection, I believe is what that says. Basically see if I can figure out what that last symptom is, just to make sure that she's properly treated and any hidden symptoms won't cause issues later down the road. Excuse me. Whew dinner's coming up. Or trying to. <laughs> I know, just what you guys want to hear. So while she is taken care of and get sent on her way home, we're going to go on to another patient. Looks like a little bit later in the day. Here's our next patient. Click on Miss Lisa Moore, who's been patiently waiting for us again. Um, you probably noticed earlier that some examinations are not available. They're in gray. They need special rooms or equipment. So in this case, x-ray back is the next available examination. So we're going to hit next. And I'm not going to do anything. The game's going to do it for us. At least this time. If you mouse over the grayed out icon, a tooltip will tell you what is missing. In this case, we are missing both the room and a technologist to be able to run said x-ray. Which it tells you right there in red. Not available. There, there are tooltips available throughout the game with extra information for every icon in every category. So for now, let us fix the hospital real quick. And they added in the x-ray room. 
Everything should be in order now, and when you open the patient's card again, you can select the now available examination, which as you can see here, is in green. So we are going to do that here real quick. If you want to keep be kept in loop, you must keep the patient under your care or as monitored. The same icon switches between all the modes. Right now, the patient is under your care, just as we need. The card being the card can be closed by the X in the upper right hand corner. That guy there. Don't forget that you can always access the last few characters from the list on the right side. This examination will take some time. You can fast forward the game time using the controls in the middle of the main panel, which are down here. We're gonna do just that. All right, lab procedure uncovered a new symptom. Scoliotic findings, lovely. So, we're gonna get go to on that. Select that and select that. So basically it's just saying that you can, uh, back in the options menu, I believe, you have the option of selecting how you receive some of your, of your notifications. Um, in this case, I just have the defaults, so they're gonna, a lot of those kind of notifications are just gonna pop, show up as a pop-up. I can select them also if I wanted them to show up down here in the bottom right-hand corner. <clears throat> so, the last examination provided by the x-ray revealed a last hidden symptom unique to the patient's disease. If the diagnosis was not clear, this would confirm it with a 100% probability, which it did. And then usually running tests, radiology, stat labs, is the most certain way to confirm a di diagnosis, but they also take a lot of time. You can finish treating the patient yourself or leave it up to the doctor. I don't think it's going to let me choose, but we will see. Now that we've covered our basics, it's time to get this clinic going. We get to treat four patients now. Lovely! So she's going to run to the bathroom. That is our... Radiologist. Ding dong. Come on down, Joseph Robinson. All right, Joseph, what seems to be the problem today? What's going on with you? Oh, vomiting. Okay. Loss of appetite. That's understanding if you're vomiting. And you have a fever. And that's not good. Let's see if we can uh, give you something to ease the uh, upset stomach there, as well as try to lower your fever. And then we'll get you on the table for a physical exam. Let's get him under my control here. All right, 
So we've come across the fact that he's got a headache and papulas and vesicles. Uh, also known as chicken box, we'll just go with that. <laughs> so we'll give him some uh, medicine for the headache and the antivirals to deal with the chicken pox essentially. And we'll get him sent on his way home. I'll make sure he gets all of his prescriptions before you just send him on his way. And there you go. There's patient number one. Patient number two, come on down. Okay, that'd be Miss Elizabeth Anderson. What seems to be the problem today? Feeling fatigued. That was the doctor's order on that one. Not mine. But we are going to go ahead and do a physical exam on her as well. Irritable cough. We do have cough suppressants for that. Alright, we'll get you up on the table. Get you a physical exam, see what else we can find from you. Okay. Ooh, hay fever. Uh, so while she's up there on the table, we're gonna do these two. Because while I believe the skin allergy test will reveal one symptom, she still has one other hidden symptom. Yes, ma'am, I know. I'm sorry. It's not pleasant. But it was relatively quick and painless, for the most part, procedure, I imagine. As I expected, we did discover one of her allergies. So while uh, the doctor finishes, uh, finishes up with the exam, we're going to go ahead and get her a prescription of antihistamines. Stanley nasal spray and some eye drops. Possibly whatever else may help any other symptoms that pop up. And nasal drops too. 
She'll be feeling feeling better in no time. So some of these up here, uh, she is a gamer, which means that if I can keep it still, resting is much faster. And then she does have a, apparently a hidden perk. Excuse me guys, I'm yawning over here. It's been a long day. I feel like I got maybe four hours of sleep the night before last night and been up since 5 a.m. It's been a long day. Yeah, let's get Miss Anderson sent home and get our next patient brought in. Which, who is it gonna be? Ah, Miss Carol Adams. Please, come in, sit down. What seems to be the issue today? Finger numbness, that's not good. What is it with just articulation? Os os oscillation? Yeah, that's not right either. Yay, doctor's words. This doctor needs some improvement if she thinks that chest oscillation is the best thing to do. Yeah, I, I've been yawning all afternoon and all evening. Even with me taking about an hour nap earlier today. Yes, I love my afternoon naps. They're so relaxing. Especially with it raining off and on outside today. <laughs> Let's see what we can figure out is going on with her. That's kind of what I was thinking because we I've seen that recently in game because uh, not gonna lie I saw it when I tried to do the first recording tonight for this game <laughs> so a little bit of deja vu for me but man I'll get you figured out and get you squared up and get you some treatments to help you out with that hopefully and We'll get you sent on your way. There we go. Who's next? Fraser Hernandez. Mr. Hernandez, what can we do for you? Sleeping problems, okay. No oh, depression. Hmm, possible insomnia? Wow, four more hidden symptoms. And yes, I do realize that in the real world, some people kind of play this game just to get so they can get drugs. This game doesn't have that as an option. So I'm not too concerned about that. Oh, 
Okay, irritability. Go away. Yep, irritability. I'm not gonna worry about that at the moment. Definitely does appear that he has insomnia, which is never good. My friends in the real world that uh, have insomnia or suffer from it. Not, yeah, not quite a daily deal from my understanding, but either way, it's not the best. I rarely do evaluation, but I figure I'd do that in this case, just because it's something a little different. See if we can pull that last hidden symptom out. But we are going to go ahead and prescribe the tranquilizers. Wherever that went. Um... Yeah, for the treatment of anxiety, fear, tension, Agitation and disturbances of the mind. Basically, something to make them sleep. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and send him on his way. Awesome, you've done it. Thank you for your help. We can take over from here. I think you are needed elsewhere. Please click next to continue. Alright. Well guys, like I said, we're going to go through these tutorials, um, so those are going to be the next couple of videos. I'm not sure if I'm going to go into the tutorials for the DLC or not at that point, at that time, or if we're going to head into the challenges. Like I said, the campaign, I'm going to leave for myself to kind of do on my own time, because it does take a little bit more time. So I think once I get farther ahead in that campaign, um, I might bring that to the channel show you guys you know kind of where I'm at in that point um, but yeah uh, at this time uh, I am looking at as I pull up my phone I'm looking at 17 subscribers so far so for those of you who are subscribed to me thank you so much I am hoping to hit 20 subscribers by the end of July as I am recording this it is June 30th, almost July 1st, looking at the time now. Um, so yeah, i got a full month to hopefully get three more subscribers. Um, like I said, it is greatly appreciated for everyone who subscribes, for everyone who watches. I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you all. <laughs> I can't say that enough. Um, I do ask though, if you do like the video guys, please give it a thumbs up. Um, go ahead, share it. I don't, you know, obviously, if you do enjoy my content, please share it. But, yeah, guys, until next time, take care. Peace.